hey to my youtubers and my subscribers i will be coming to you today with a tutorial on the creamy doobie 100 percent human hair i got it in a 1b and also and i got it in a i'm just gonna say burgundy i got two packs I got a deal. And where I'm from, they was $15.99. And the color was $18.99. But I got a deal because I got two packs. So I bought both. Got both of them for $15.99 a piece. So today you would need two packs of the Dewey Premium. This is the 8 inch. Also, you would need your stocking caps you will need your glue your spritz brush gel so I already gel my hair down I ain't gel that part I got, I'm gonna grease it cuz it's kind of breaking a little bit so I just, I don't want a lot of gel because it makes, it ain't going to hold my hair anyways. That's why I do spritz too. So, I get the spritz and I, I put the spritz on there to hold the stocking cap. Okay. I'm going to be using two stocking caps because I do not want my edges to be gone, honey. Okay. Just one. And I'm put a little spritz to make sure. That it ain't going nowhere. Then I'm gonna got to get the second one. Put on there also. This putting two on there is more protection when it comes to your hair. You might think there's a lot of spritz. But everybody know people with thick hair spritz don't work. It's male. Yeah, I use a lot. So I'm gonna be doing a quick weave to this style. I'll be back with you. I'm about to blow dry my hair real quick and I'll be right back with you. Okay, and y'all going also going to need scissors. I can't find my small scissors, so I'll be using my fabric scissors and if you would like to know what kind of gel i used i use the pro styler spritz i use pump it up um so i will have no leave out i just dried my hair just a little bit Cause it ain't that wet. I think I'm gonna do. Let me see. I think I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna do one track of each every time. So I'm gonna do black, burgundy, black, burgundy, black, burgundy, black. Okay. I have no leave out. I'm not doing no part. It's just a full quick weave. So. Bear with me. I might move a little fast or a little slow, but bear with me. Some people go to their side, oh, you ain't gonna need number one pack. Trust me, you gonna see why I get two packs because I like it to be full. See that? The color. It looks like a orange but it's actually 
can't really tell. It's like a burgundy with little strips of black at the top. So. Getting it all ready. You know, I got all these needles in here. Okay. So you can see a little bit burgundy. They make sure they be packed up very good. I'm in my living room. So. Bear with me. So, I'm trying to see. I'll probably do start putting a burgundy in. Like, I'm put two tracks in the back that's black, and um, just start doing it piece by piece. It comes like this in a little thing to keep, I guess, the bump to it. So I'm just going to take all of it off here. You know, it'd be quicker, but they got all these needles in this thing. And I bet I hurt myself. This probably be a long video, but please bear with me. And you also... Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my videos. If you would like to see more to, um, hair tutorials or you would like to see me do certain kinds of videos, please leave a comment down below. And um, we're going to get to this real quick. Okay, this is the glue I'm using. The Style Pro Hair Bun and Glues Super Bun for a perfect hold. Isn't it? I usually get the 30 minute glue. I don't see what they call it 30 minutes because it actually do not dry in 30 minutes. So, we're going to get to this. I don't want keep y'all that long first I'm gonna go around like I'm trying to see what I want to do I think I'm gonna start going all the way around cutting One thing about this here, make sure you glue it on the right side. Do not glue the, the side. This is where the bump is at. So wherever they bump a hole that way, make sure that's where you put the glue at. Okay, try to get close as I can. I want to start right there, and then I'm just gonna take it all away. some glue on there. If you see me looking this way, I got a, um, a mirror right here. I'm trying to make sure I don't get none of this on the hair.
Also, if you subscribed to me, I am going to start putting videos up every, um, well, I'm going to say this. I'm going to try to put at least, at least two to three videos up out of a week. Well, you probably can't see me, but you may see me shortly. Yes. Yes. I'm going to put a couple in. I know it looks a mess right now, but trust me. It's going to be cute. It is gonna be cute. I'm not. I'm trying not to use as much red, but um, uh, it's gonna be cute. <laughs> see, this is all the black I have left. So, let me, and I'll say that this, so let me get to it, let me get to it. Okay, I did it, I'm doing black, red, black, red, black, red. So now I'm about to do a red piece and a black piece and I will be back with you. Okay, I'm at the top, if you can see that. And I just did a brown piece, but I might do another brown piece. Because I really don't want... I mean, not brown piece, black piece. But I really don't want the black to be showing. I mean, the burgundy to be showing that good so I got a little black left and I'm gonna try to do that but I'm gonna also see what can I do because I think I probably want to make my bang a little fuller so hold on separate if I can see So, I'm going to start on this side because we're not paying them yet. And I'm just going to press down first. Then I'm going to go around. Okay. And I'm going to put this in the other hand. I hope y'all can see this. Very good. I think I cut it too short, but it'll be all right. Sometimes you gotta go around to make sure that you got it. Brush it out real quick to make sure it's wet. Got a lot of this left, so I'm going to try to do this again. Go around, go around, go around. So, cut this. I'm about to glue it a little more. And then just in case, if you get a little bottle like this, you might want to get two bottles or get a bigger bottle because it really don't be nothing in these little bottles. 
especially if you're doing a lot of hair. I got the one full ounce this one. I think they go, they get real big. It depends on where you're going to get it. So, I'm going to start from this side. I hope I'm going to move it. Okay, you go around. Press down. So I'm going to try to do as much red as I can get. And then I'm going to say the rest, this rest of this black for the top. Please don't forget to subscribe and like. But when I get to the top, I'm probably going to have to wipe the top top. I probably will have to go in the bathroom so I can see a little, the top of my head. Because I really can't see a top. I'm just feeling right now. So. I got about this much left. I might not put, I might not have to put. So let's see. I might not have to put no more red. So do this. Only thing about the doobie, I wish it came with a closure. It'd be quicker. But I have to make my closure since it did not come with one. <clears throat> did my scissors fall? Oh, okay. I hope y'all can hear me. I have not got received my camera yet. So, please leave comments if you have any questions, if you would like me to do any certain videos, or if you would like to see more hair tutorials, just let me know. You let me know, and I will provide it to you. Go all the way real. Okay. I'm gonna press this down. Fresh, fresh. Fresh, fresh. Hopefully y'all don't, you can't see that bundle back there that ain't got nothing in it. But it seemed like I, that's a whole thing right here. I was saying it seemed like I ain't got no, well I see when I get up in there. Okay, I'll be back with you. Okay, I had to come in the bathroom. So I can see the top of my head. <sighs> Bear with me, hun.
the little hair I have left over, I will probably fill in the back a little bit more. The black, I don't really want a lot of red. But to me, it seems like it's more, like when you get color hair, out for the doobie, it seems like it's more color hair on the little bun thing than it is solid color. That's to me. Okay, now I'm finna, I have this much black left. I'm going to make my closure piece. I'm trying to explain how I do it, but like quick weave style. I'm just gonna be enough. The thing about the closure, you still have to make sure you is. So, this is what you do. Get the track, the glue. You just get a little take and you just glue the whole little thing. Then, what I do is get my flutter, it's hot, using that kind. I don't close it, I just put it close as possible so it can get tacky. And they usually don't take that long because these are some good flatters. Okay. Now I get this, the littlest piece, and I fold it. Y'all try to do it tight as possible. That's what I try to do, rather. You can just keep going, rolling it. Make sure it's stay on the same. The row smash that and you just keep going. It might loosen up a little bit, just pull it from the opposite side rather. And then you just go and start wrapping up like a ball. Then After you do that, shoot, you get your flutters, the last little piece you had, just go around it like this, just go around it, squeeze if you have to, then you open it up. You flatten it like this. I'm trying to make sure you can see. Put it in and you flatten it. Just flatten it good enough. Then you get some glue. You get the this out of the look. You get some glue. Take it around it. And you flip it and you do the same thing.
and I'll put a little glue. Well, enough. You might can't see it, but it's right here. I take this with the glue on there. And then just press down on it. And while you press it, comb it on it. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm trying to see if you can see. I'm trying to see if you can see the ball in the back of my head. But I think I'm going to put one right here. Because I still have a little hair left. This is the hair I got left. So, I'm just going to use this script. Because I got a gap right here. And I'm going to get this because I wanted a little flow in the back. And I'm just going to on the track. I think not it. Not it. Not it. Okay. I think I'm also going to put this one back there. Can't even see. Bear with me, y'all. Can't see nothing.
Now I'm just going to put a little bump to it. I will put pictures below of the finished product. So, stay tuned. Okay, this is my finished look. I did a lip bang. Still trying to figure out which side I want it on. Do I want it on this side or on the other side? But for right now, this going to work. So, please like, subscribe. Thumbs up. If you would like to be, see me make more um, tutorials on hair. Or if you have any ideas on some I can, you know, videos I can do. Have a blessed day.